Hello, this is Joe Neville, back with another Aruba Central API Express video. This is video five, so hopefully you know the drill by now. Here's the question, and it is, my API call returns a maximum of 50 items. How do I see all my data? This is when we have a collection of data, for example, customers under a managed service provider account. In video one, link on screen now, I showed you how to use the limit parameter, but that has a maximum of 50. What do we do if we have 60 items in our collection? Well, here's the answer. The API is using pagination and that has a limit of 50 to make sure that you don't get these huge responses coming back from the API. What we have to do is use the offset parameter to control the first entry that's returned. It works like a sliding window over your items. Here's an example with 60 items. To get the first 1 to 50 of our items, we send a call with an offset of zero and a limit of 50 in the parameters. And then for the second call, we send an offset of 50. I've left the limit parameter as 50, but this second call will give us 51 to 60. So we'll have all of our items. And you may ask, well, how do I know how many calls I need to make? Well, the API calls return a total. So we would get a total of 60 when we make our first call and then we can write code to ensure that the correct number of calls is sent to cover that number in the total. Let's dive into the code and see all this in action. Here's the code. I've got a class to create my central client which will handle the authorization. And I've got this method here to get the MSP customers. Here's the URL. So I'm going to the EU instance and it's MSP API v1 customers. So that will list the customers for us. And there's those parameters. So I've left that as the default, which is an offset of zero. And I've upped it to the limit of 50. I have indeed against this account, this is my own account, I have put in 60 customers and we are going to print those out. This will give us the first one to 50. I'll show you how I run that. There we go. We create a variable C for the client and then we run the method against C. So let's do that. Run Python file in terminal. This will take a while as it prints the screen. This is the verbose version. I haven't picked out any of the JSON here to just list it because I want to show you if we scroll down to the bottom, let's scroll down. There you go. You've got the total there. So that is a key value pair that we can call to pick out just the total when we make the call. And then we can run conditionals on that so that we know 60 is above 50. We need to make two calls to cover that. I'll run that again with concise equals true. If I run that again, it will just show you all of the names of the customers. There we are, I'll pull that up. Okay, so we have from the top there one, the customer name is just the number underscore red for some simple designation. So we go from one down to 50. And then for the second call then, if we up this to the offset of 50, run it again, and we've got 51 to 60. And both of the calls, both the first call and the second call here with the offset will still include the total, if you're wondering about that. So if I take out the concise, so we'll grab the whole of the second call. There we are, you see you get the total for the full amount of the items, whether it's the first call or the second call. Okay, that's it for this express video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Joe Neville and goodbye.